Capricorn, welcome to your April 2019 general tarot reading. Crowning your first week, you have the Sun card clarified by the Moon and the Wheel of Fortune. For your second week, you have the Queen of Fire, and it's clarified by the Five of Cups and Judgment. For your third week, you have the Knight of Water, and it's clarified by the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. And then lastly, you have Justice, which is clarified by the Four of Swords and the Two of Swords. So Capricorn, what I'm seeing here is there could be some light that opens up or is shed on something that was once dark with the moon. Um, some secrets may be coming out first week of April for some of you guys. Um, but I'm seeing this as being a good thing because the sun is a good card to get. It's like clarity comes in. Clarity comes in about some confusion, some darkness that was... There was a little bit of light. I feel like some of you guys had an intuitive feeling about something, but there will be truth and clarity that comes out about some intuitive feelings that you had in the month of April, possibly this first week. This, however, is going to shift things forward with the Wheel of Fortune, this truth, this clarity that comes out. It's going to cause something to move forward um, with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like things are going to take a turn for the better once these secrets come out. There, there are some secrets here that have been hidden um, for a while, for a while, and it's like they're, they're finally coming out. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, others of you could be dealing with a Cancer, some of you guys could be dealing with like a Leo Cancer cusp. I am seeing a lot of water energy here though, um, strong Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, strong Sagittarius energy, and strong Libra energy. Does that mean that that's the only types of people that you're dealing with? No. I'm seeing a lot of other signs on the table. I'm seeing just about every single um, element here. I am seeing every single element here. So you guys could be dealing with anybody. But the signs that I see on the table here are Pisces, Cancer, Judgment, which is Sagittarius, and then I see Libra, and then fixed signs. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, um, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. Lots of different signs. So just whatever resonates with you. Anyway, somebody here is still focused on some secrets. Someone's still focused on a third party situation that happened. Um, and maybe that's the secret that's going to come out. Maybe there was a third party situation that somebody wasn't talking about. Um, it's like something's coming to light that was once in the dark. This was possibly in the dark for the past 10 months. This is something that's been secret for a while. Um, and it's like, someone's going to be feeling a sense of loss here. Um, could possibly be this Sagittarius for some of you. Um, I'm also seeing there being forgiveness. Somebody is going to be confident in the idea of letting something go that is lost. Somebody in this video or watching this video is accepting that this is a loss. There's no use. Somebody is saying there's no use in this anymore. There's too many secrets. Too much betrayal. Ten of Swords. And it's like they're not really seeing the light of the situation. Someone's kind of crying over spilled milk here. Like somebody can't really do anything about the past, but they're still crying over it. And it's like spirits telling you to forgive. Not for this person, but for you. Don't forgive for this person, forgive for yourself so you can have peace of mind. Um, I am seeing you feeling very confident this month, Capricorn. Um, some of you guys could be embarking on something that has failed many times. Because you feel like this is your destiny, you feel like this is your call to action. This is something you're supposed to do. This could be something that you work night and day on. You work all the time on this. Um, you've been planting these seeds for this endeavor. Whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. There, there's some of you guys who have planted some career seeds here. And it's like this career has continuously failed and failed. Maybe three times that you've tried this. And it's consistently fucked you over every single time. But it's like there's this intuitive feeling to push one more time to try one more time and it's like this one time that it, you're you're defeated you're defeated when it comes to these seeds that you've planted you don't even a part of you doesn't even want to try on this anymore but spirits telling you try one more time 
because you really don't know. You never know. Um, so I'm seeing you making a decision about that this month. I'm also seeing there being an offer here, or possibly an offer, from someone who has possibly betrayed you, or you have betrayed this person. Strong water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, however it doesn't have to be. Um, I'm seeing there being an ending, an ending to some sort of loss. For some of you, there could be an ending to an offer. An ending to some sort of seeds you were planting with somebody. Maybe there was somebody here in your awareness that you were planting seeds with. Maybe you were talking about getting committed. Um, I'm seeing that ending this month in April. Because someone still feels a sense of loss. Someone feels betrayed. Because somebody feels that there are still secrets. At the end of the month you have justice. And with this card I'm seeing that it's like balance is being restored. For some of you. If you got betrayed by somebody, Capricorn, this person could possibly be receiving their betrayal as karma. And for others of you, I'm seeing this justice card as being peace of mind. Like, your justice is your peace of mind. You don't even care what happens to this person anymore. Um, I feel like for a while you were very hurt, you were very defeated, you were very in pain about this situation. It doesn't even have to be a third party, it's just some sort of betrayal. But for a lot of you, I'm getting it's a third party situation. Um, and it's like the justice is getting that peace of mind and, and not being so damn confused. Because somebody here is very confused about what they want. There's a part of them that wants to go through with planting these seeds with this person, and there's another part of them that just wants to say fuck this and lay it to rest. Um, so whatever you decide to choose, Capricorn, at the end of the month, you're going to be very um, sure about this decision. You'll be able to lay this to rest these feelings of anxiety, these feelings of indecision. Somebody here is very indecisive this month, and towards the end of the month, you finally will be letting that energy of indecision go. Um, let me go ahead and pull some clarifiers for you. I'm sensing strong Libra energy as well. If you're dealing with a Libra, you're very indecisive about them, or they are very indecisive about you. But at the end of the month, somebody will be laying these indecision energies to rest. Clarify the moon and the wheel of fortune for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Oops. Three of Swords. Yeah, like I said, there's some secrets in regards to a heartbreak here. There's some secrets in regards to a third person being present. Somebody's got one foot dipping in another pool, is what I'm seeing here. Like somebody's got their two feet on one person, but they've got a, like this girl in this picture has a third leg. Somebody here could be testing the water somewhere else. And maybe that's the secret. There is some pain and there is heartbreak, but there is clarity that's coming out about it this week. Like this week. Like it's coming, guys. Very quick. It may not be exactly what you want to hear. Clarify judgment and the five of cups, please. Yeah, someone's stuck on the past. They're still looking at heartbreak. It's probably you, Capricorn. For some of you guys, you're really stuck on the past. Um, you have these overwhelming feelings of loss. And it's like you're so focused on someone who was greedy. Someone who was selfish. And you need to forgive them. Because this loss, this feeling of anger and negativity, it's a demon. 
This is an inner demon within you, and it's pulling you into your own personal hell. And the only person that can give it power is you. So it's like, are you going to allow this to pull you into to your own hell? Or are you going to let it go and forgive? And just because you forgive this person doesn't mean you have to get back with them. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean you have to forget them or forget what they did. But forgiving gives you peace of mind. It gives you confidence within yourself to move forward happily. Clarify the Ten of Wands, I mean the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, please. Swords. Definitely some unfair treatment here. Someone was being a little immature, possibly an air sign, possibly this Libra. Um, it's almost like somebody saying fuck you to your seeds. Like the seeds that you planted with this person, or vice versa, the seeds that they have planted with you. Someone's saying, screw these seeds. What I'm also seeing here is like, you're at a crossroads, Capricorn. Do you want to... Okay, this is what I'm seeing here. So there's two groups of you. There's a group of you that, okay, so th there's an offer here. There's an offer here. Um, and there's a group of you that will move forward with this offer. And then there's a group of you that are going to put it to an end. You're going to lay this relationship to rest. You're going to end this relationship. But there's also, it's like this is a crossroads. The third week of April is a crossroads for you, Capricorn. You can either continue to plant seeds with someone. I feel like more of you will be ending the situation, but there will be a group of you that will decide to move forward with this person. Very small group of you. But there's a bigger majority of you that will be ending this situation when there is an offer made. Whether this is you making the offer or the other person. Because somebody feels like there's unfair treatment here. And then you have temperance. Like I said, some of you guys are... Ugh. Oh my god, I can't talk. Like I said, some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius. I've been tripping over my words a lot lately, guys. Pardon me. But... I feel like there is a crossroads here. I am seeing a, a strong crossroads energy. You don't really know what to do. Somebody doesn't know what to do. But have patience. Meditate. Because the answers are already within you. You know deep within yourself what you want to do. So follow that guidance. Because these tarot cards can only tell you so much. But yours, your inner guidance will tell you more than these cards could ever tell you. So trust that. Because some of you guys really do want to continue on with this person and it is going to take patience I'm seeing it is going to take patience for things to really get back to or for things to not get back to the way that they were for some of you maybe but it's going to take a while for things to really balance themselves out because there was a serious serious unequal dis distribution of give and take you know what I mean there was an unequal dis unequal distribution of this exchange of energy, right? So somebody was giving more than the other person. And it's like now somebody's defeated, somebody's drained because they've been giving more into this connection. And somebody here who has been giving more, possibly a Libra, will be deciding to Stop trying so hard.
I'm going to pull you guys an advice card for this month. Let's see what the advice is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But there was an unequal distribution of energy here. The King of Cups. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. There's a lot of you here, especially if you're a female Capricorn. There's a lot of you that are dealing with water signs. Because I got the Queen of Earth at the bottom of the deck. That's your energy. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. I'm seeing that some of you are so hurt that you're not dealing with this in the kindest way. And the only thing you're doing in that sense is pushing the person away from you. And if that's what you're trying to do, then it's fucking working. But if that's not what you're trying to do, you should probably take a more sensible approach. Because whoever you're dealing with, they're very sensitive to... Um, you could also have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in your chart. And if you do, you're stepping up into this emotional power. Somebody wants to be more trustworthy. Somebody wants to be more compassionate. Somebody is opening their heart. And they're attracting an abundance of love to them whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with. But I do see there being an offer here this month. But you're at a crossroads. So follow your inner guidance, because you'll know what to do. But that's what I see here, Capricorn. If you'd like to book a personal reading, please DM me or email me. My information is in the description box below, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, Capricorn. Bye-bye.